Hello everybody, I'm Godot Guru, and today we're gonna add NPCs to our GTA game in Godot. Okay, so start by going down and duplicating the player scene right here, and call it NPC like this. Then open it up. Now delete the car detector and the camera holder. Then change the name of the route to NPC2, and add the navigation agent node like this. Then click on the route again and remove the script and then add a new one and just call it NPC like this. Then like last time, you want to select everything and just replace it with the code you can find in the description, then save it. Then you'll want to go back to the city and then right click on the root and add a new node and then call it NPC spawner, just like this. Then attach script to it and create it. And again, just select everything and replace with the code, which you can also find in the description. Now save. Then we have a couple of settings inside of the NPC spawner. The first one is the textures, because uh, if you remember, we had a couple of palettes for the NPCs. So I'll just select all of them and drag them over here. So we have kind of like variation between the NPCs. Then you have the amount of NPCs it will spawn. It will spawn them at random places around the map and select the city holder and you want to right click and change the type of it to a navigation region 3d like this then click on the navigation mesh and create a new navigation mesh then open it up then i'll just open up a couple of tabs here i'm going to mainly use these four tabs now all of these tabs are about how we create the actual navigation region and the settings i like to use is layers right here for the partition map then for the partition type i like to use layers i like it because it's the best one for cities it will give you a really accurate one then i don't really touch the geometry then for the cells we need really small cells mainly because this whole city is scaled up by five so we need to scale down the cell size by five but i found that even that wasn't all that accurate so set it to 0.03 on both cell size and cell height. Then in the agent, I didn't mess around with the height. I just set the radius to something really small like 0.03, because again, this is scaled up five times and we want the NPCs to be able to walk in corners like this. Then I set the climb to something really small. In this case, it's 0.05, because I don't want them to be able to climb over benches like this and then set the max slope to 60 so they will be able to go from the road to the sidewalk like this after you figure out all the settings go into the city holder and make sure to select all of the traffic lights and the street lights because you don't want to include them in the navigation mesh so just click on them select everything and just move them down like this then get back to the navigation mesh and just click on back navigation mesh right here it should be done pretty fast and as you can see creates a really nice navigation mesh like this it doesn't include the cars but it does include boxes and everything and as you can see they will be able to go right through here between the buildings which is really important and after you are happy with your navigation mesh you can go back and bring all of the traffic lights and the street lights back in my case just set the white to 0 0.1 and it should be fine before we run the game there are some things i forgot to do uh, the first one is about the navigation over the roofs and if you go inside the buildings we do have some navigation here which might spawn npcs inside of the buildings which we don't want so just get all of the street lights and the traffic lights like this and go down like we did before and then in the city holder set the minimum region size right here to 100 and if we bake again then all of the navigation on the roofs will disappear and also the ones over the benches and everything and if we go inside of the buildings then we don't have this anymore so everything is fine so now we can select all of the traffic lights and the street lights again and set the transform on the Y to 0 0.1 like before and then just save this scene. 
then there are a couple of things inside of the NPC. The first one is the collision shape. You need to set the radius to 0 0.15 because we want him to be able to actually go between the buildings. So we can't have him wide like the player. He might get clipped inside of the building, but that's not really an issue. Just a visual thing. Then in the animation player, we need to set the default blend time right here to 0 0.5. And the last thing is in the navigation agent, set the height offset to 0 0.3. And now we can save him too. And one last thing is to go back to the city and in the NPC spawner, click on the script. And you can completely remove the max height. And I'll also update the code to remove this part. Because we don't need to worry about the NPC spawning over the roofs because it's completely impossible now. And now we can play the game. As you can see, we have this NPC right here, with his own little color variation. And it just patrols around the scene like this. And this one too. Again, with another color variation. And also some over there. And they might sometimes get stuck over things, you see. But um, it's, uh, it's not that big of an issue, and most of them will usually work. But there will be another part about NPCs again, when we make them a little more advanced, and in that part I will try to completely get rid of that issue. But as you can see, no one is currently really stuck, so I guess that issue is not that big of a deal. So yeah, this is it for this part, and I really hope you like it. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!